Today we are opening a scam Legend of Blue Eyes box. Or is it real? What's up guys? Today we have another video involving a potential scam Yu-Gi-Oh box. So a viewer of mine, Jose S, hit me up and he said, Hey, I bought this LOB box off eBay and I think it looks like a scam. Like your Metal Raiders box that you opened up that turned out to be a scam. So he said, I'm going to send it to you. I want you to check it out, open it up and then see if it's actually a scam or not. So today we're opening this original Legend of Blue Eyes box. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna see what do we think it looks like. Is it a scam? Is it resealed? And if it is, we'll find out today. If it's not, we're still gonna open it. He said, if it's actually legit, I want you to open it up and try and get the Blue Eyes White Dragon. So either way, it's gonna be interesting. It's either a scam and hopefully he can get his money back or hopefully it's real and we can pull the Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's definitely gonna be intriguing. I haven't looked at the box in detail yet, so I haven't formed an opinion or anything. So we're about to look at it together for the first time, but we do have a quick giveaway. I will be giving away these three cards. We have a signed Ruxin 34 Picanio Moth. We've got the Mage Power Ultra Rare and a Secret Rare Sphere of Chaos. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know in the comments what you think about this box. We don't know what this video is going to be about, either about the scam or about the actual opening. Hopefully it's a real opening and not a scam, but it could be. Okay, it's time to check this thing out. So, honestly, the front looks pretty good to me. It looks like it might be real. He did say it felt a little thick, which I, I do think it feels slightly thick. Like, you guys see this? But if you guys remember, we had that first edition Magic Ruler box, and one of the packs had just shifted over or something like that, so that kind of made that happen. Let's check out the seal. What do you guys think so far? Let me know in the comments. Does it look real? Does it look fake to you guys? Okay, this is a... Okay, the back, there is some scuffing on it, which is... Kind of normal. Okay, the, the box being a little bent could be a bad sign because if it was opened, you know, it's easier to actually dent a box when there's no packs inside of it. But that can also happen when there's stuff on the inside as well. Oh, man, this is actually tough. This one looks a lot better than my Metal Raiders box. The Metal Raiders box I knew right away because it felt really weird. It It is really tight, which sometimes is kind of a bad thing. But the front honestly looks really good so if this is a reseal this is actually a very good one honestly it's pretty it's pretty good if it's a reseal i i think the part where they're kind of bowed out is the only thing that's kind of sketching me out is how it is kind of not fat but it's like it's pushed out so honestly it's possible that a pack slid from the left to the right side like what happened in our first edition magic ruler break on whatnot we have that video posted on youtube if you want to check it out we thought there was going to be an extra pack or it was resealed or something like that and turned out it was just the left pack went to the right i don't know if that's what happened here i mean we're going to find out honestly i'm not really sure so if this is resealed i'm a little bit scared because the front actually looks pretty good in the metal raiders i knew it was resealed this one i'm not super sure about it but honestly i'm more leaning toward real so i'm hoping that that's true so we can actually get the uh the opening and he's not actually scammed out of his money so let's see okay let's open this thing up um wow i this is interesting Let, let's see i'm actually not sure i'm not sure what to expect here let's go we're gonna break the seal we're either breaking a seal on a legit lob box which is crazy in and of itself or we're opening up a scam box we're about to find out for jose s let's see Maybe once we can, uh, feel the, yeah, wait, let me feel this up real quick. Hmm. Yeah, that, hmm, that feels a little bit strange. Yeah. I think that this, okay. Now that I feel this, I think it is, I think it is a scam because this feels very, uh, it feels like something you would get on like a snack, you know, that kind of, that kind of wrap. So this does not feel like real wrap. So at this point, I'm thinking it is a scam. So let's see. Let's see what's inside. Oh, they're opened. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. I was like first edition. What is happening? Okay. This is in fact a scam box guys. You guys see this? So they put in first edition packs, which doesn't make any sense because it's not a first edition box, but they put in the first edition packs. Let's see exactly what the cards were. Okay, so it's just new cards. Ragunity Legion, Zero Extra Link, Terrifying Top. Honestly, that reseal was a little bit scary how good that was because the front of the wrapping, they actually had it. They had it looking pretty good, which is pretty creepy. 
And then look at this. Taped together. I bet if you weighed this thing, it was way off in the weight because, compared to like a normal box. Because there's no way that something like this would weigh the same as a actual sealed box. So this was actually a pretty good reseal, to be honest. The only thing was, I think, the, the fact that it was too bulged out or whatever. So that kind of gave it away. And that was what Jose S. said. He said, this thing is a little bit too thick. I, like, it doesn't feel right. So he sent it to me, and we can officially confirm that... This is not a real box. We have, um, <laughs> what, do you, what do you even do you call this? A brick of stuff? Like, what do you, I kind of want to find out what they used here. All right, so what is this? Like, Legendary Duelist. So hopefully this video will help Jose S. get his money back. Because obviously this is not a real booster box. I mean, it is definitely not a real sealed LOB box. I mean... Just got random stuff in it. It's got pieces of cardboard in it. It's got uh, all kinds of random stuff. So, yeah, it just looks like it's just a bunch of junk. Honestly, it's like some some closed packs that they are not closed packs, but they tape some random packs in there. I don't even get the point of putting the packs in there if it, if you're not gonna like if they're just are they are, are any of these sealed? I want to find out. Okay, not sealed, not sealed. I'm guessing no, but sometimes. If you guys remember the Metal Raiders scam box, it was actually sealed, which was weird. Yeah, not sealed. Okay, so this is 100% a scam box. Jose S., hopefully this video will help you get your money back because I don't know what you paid or anything, and I know that he did get this from a big auction site. He got this from Probstein123. They auction off a lot of stuff, so I don't. it's not always their stuff. I know for a fact that they have sold a resealed... I believe it was a beta starter, maybe it was an alpha starter to open boosters. And he made a whole video about it, about how they were very difficult to deal with and trying to get his money back. And so I hope that this is, that's not the case here, but I hope that, that this video will actually help him get his money back because obviously selling resealed stuff is messed up. And if you're selling this stuff, you don't know that it's resealed. Like I, as I said, it was a pretty good resale. So maybe they missed it. If you don't realize it, you definitely have to be accountable for what you're selling. Unfortunately, this was a resealed Legend of Blue Eyes box. Jose S., you did unfortunately get scammed. However, if you can get your money back, that would be great. And hopefully this video will help because we opened it all up on camera and all that stuff. A little bit scary, to be honest, because compared to that Metal Raiders one we opened, this one looked a lot better, for sure. Like, it wasn't completely obvious. It, I was slightly fooled. I was like, you know what? This could be real. Not totally sure. Feel a little bit weird about how bulged it is. I mean, it happened. It happened in our in our Magic Ruler first edition. So you never know. You never know really until you open it, which is kind of the scary thing about collecting sealed product. And if you don't know until you open it, when you open it, you lose a lot of your value. Yeah, it, collecting sealed stuff, you always have to be very careful. I always say get from a trusted source if you can, but with this old stuff, it's so hard to find that it's hard to find a actual trusted source that has anything anymore. Unfortunately, we opened a scam box of Legend of Blue Eyes. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I really hope that this video helps out Jose S. and getting his money back. But before we end the video, I have to shout out my ultimate supporters on YouTube and Patreon. We have TCG Trusted Cards, Toe and Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and and that's it for this video. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!